we will finish off this tutorial series by testing the completed application. But first, let's make a few small tweaks. As a reminder, in this series we've learned how to implement voice search with dkinter in Python by using the speech recognition module and by working with Google's speech recognition API. The speech recognition module can use other APIs such as Bing's API, Sphinx, IBM Watson's and so on. And for more info on that, I'd recommend reading the documentation. Now, to be more specific, we've created a new voice search button. Let me run this. So this is what we've created, this voice search button um, to work with the functionality of the app. And we also integrated the button with the rest of the application. Now, one thing that I want to add is to have a pre-selected engine when we open the app. As you can see, there is nothing selected uh, for the radio, for any radio button right now. So I don't want to have to select, um, I want to have something that's already selected. Say, I want to have Google selected as default. So whenever I open up the app, the radio button for Google is selected. So I don't have to do this. So how do we do this? Well, it's quite simple. Now scrolling down at the end of the application, um, there's this one line that I have to add. So right before running the main loop, I'll say button to set Google. So this is the value that's set for button to and button to is our string variable. It's a string variable. So it encodes the value for the radio button. Okay, now let's see how it works. First, I'll close this. And this save and run it again. And I'm not sure if you can see but the Google button is selected. Alright. Another thing I want is to restrict the application from searching if the entry window is empty. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if Google is selected and I hit search or enter, it will open up a uh, empty search result. Or if I hit duck and put my cursor in the query window and hit enter or the search button, let me just hit enter here it will open up a result with no query. So how do I prevent this? Well, I will just add a conditional um, for the get and callback functions. The callback function is invoked when hitting the search while the get is invoked when uh, hitting enter. So over here, if button to get equals Google and entry one get is not empty. So if our button, if our selected button is Google and our entry, whatever is in the entry field, if the entry field is not empty, that's basically what this means. So let me just copy paste this for the rest of the function. And for the get function, and entry one get is not empty. Okay, let's save and run this. Now, the 
entry field is empty and I will hit search we'll click search nothing happens let's click on Amazon search nothing happens duck duck hit enter nothing happens so that's how you prevent it for from searching so if I if I run a query say um, today and I hit enter it will pop up a search result for today so that's how we do it now let's test the voice search capability of the application which is basically what we've been coding along throughout the series and I want you to please notice the sound effects that we've added at the beginning just before speaking that will prompt the user to speak and after speaking acknowledging that the message has been processed please volume up if you don't hear the prompts so what are the morning routines of celebrities all right okay cool so that's the application basically it works just fine it works as we want it to and I guess this is it for now for this video series I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something on your way out please hit that like button and subscribe thank you for watching